So this is the project nearly completed. I have the uh, grill cover off just to show you the drum and the two drive motors. These are exactly the same type of drive motors that Leslie units had. This is a Lowry unit out of a Lowry organ. You can see the small motor on top is the slow speed motor and the larger motor below that is the high speed motor. So I'll show you the two speeds right now. I have a switch mounted in the upper corner. The center position is off and one is the high speed and one is the low speed. So let's try the low speed first. So there is an 8 inch Jensen speaker mounted in the rear which fires down into the drum and as the drum spins it causes the sound to isolate, oscillate rather, and give you the tremolo effect. That's the slow effect. And now, when I shut the shut it off, the slow motor drive pin disengages, and then we'll switch it to the high speed, which is the larger motor in the back. drives the drum at a much higher speed. An added benefit, I guess, if it's really hot in your music room, it throws a fair amount of a breeze. I'll shut it off. And now I'll do a little quick playing demonstration so you can hear the sound. Okay, a quick little demo. This is the uh, raw guitar sound with nothing running. <laughs> speed. You can hear the speed ramping up. cabinet has no amplifier internally it just has the old two wired in parallel inputs so I just drove the uh, little demonstration just now with a little fender practice amplifier just so you could hear it the Jensen original speaker inside the cabinet is only rated for 25 watts so as it is you can't really drive this cabinet with a very powerful amplifier. So it needs to be run gently. So there you go.